What's up, recruits? Coach Keto here. So, I went grocery shopping today. And before I left the house, my wife, you can see her right there. My wife said, uh, oh, Keto, don't forget to bring the coupons to the store. I was like, all right, cool, I'll, I'll do that. I like saving money, right? I don't like paying full price for groceries, but if I can save some money, I'm going to save some money. So, go to the store, buy all the things on my, you know, to-do list, you know, my shopping list, bring them up, and I had a big order, big order. And, you know, they ring up all the groceries, and then the cashier said, do you have any coupons? So, oh, I got coupons, I got coupons. So, I give her my coupons. She scans a couple of them, and I can see my total going from like $200 to $199, $198, 197 But then sometimes she said, oh, sir, this coupon's expired. It's like, all right, no problem. Oh, sir, this coupon, um, this is for another store. My wife mixed them up, I guess, right? So I had about 20 coupons. 15 of them were good, and about five of them were, were invalid, either expired or they didn't apply to that store, whatever the case may be. I ended up saving about 14, 15 bucks. Made me think about college recruiting, right? Ultimately, my hope for you as a recruit and as the parents of recruit is for as you evaluate schools, as you make a decision, at the end of the day, when you finally put pen to paper, you're able to go to school at a discount, right? The sticker price of that school for tuition and room and board and books, it may be $40,000. But I want you to be able to give some coupons, right? And coupons that take it from 40,000 to 20,000, from 20,000 to maybe 10,000, maybe from 10,000 to zero, right? Full ride. So how do you get a discount, right? How do you lower that full sticker price, that full tuition, room and board? How do you lower it? Well, recruits, here's the thing. The way you lower that is with your grades, right? If you have a good transcript, you can say, oh, here's my transcript, and maybe you have all A's. You have a 3.5, 3.6 GPA in your core classes. Well, now all of a sudden, you may get some academic money, and that takes your tuition down a little bit. You take the SAT, you take the ACT, you crush it, right? Now you're a high qualifier. That may take your, you know, your cost of tuition and room and board and cost of books, that may get a discount. But another thing that could bring down the cost is your ability, your talent. And here's where I want to draw the parallel between your athletic ability and trying to get a scholarship to me trying to give a coupon at the wrong store, right? To so see, many of you... You have the ability to redeem a coupon to reduce your tuition, but you're bringing it to the wrong university, to the wrong team, to the wrong school, to the wrong conference, to the wrong level. You're a Division II type talent. You're an NAIA type talent. You're a JUCO type talent. You're a Division III type talent, but you're bringing your transcript, you're bringing your grades you're bringing your SAT scores, you're bringing your athletic abilities to Division I schools only. And the coach is saying, sorry, we, we don't take this quote-unquote coupon. Your skill set isn't of value here. It's tough to hear, right? But that's the reality. And you guys are shopping at the wrong places. You got to take your talent to the schools that value your abilities the most. Just like I have to take my coupons to the right stores, the grocery stores that accept them 
in order to get a reduction in my in my bill. Right? So I just want to encourage you that that also works for academics. Right? If you are a B student, that's not bad. Don't get me wrong. A B, a strong B student, but if you try to get into an Ivy League school, they're not gonna they're not gonna really value that a whole heck of a lot. A B student. Right? But if you take but if you have another school that maybe not have as strict administrative guidelines, that B may look really good to them, coupled with their athletic ability. So my point here, and I'm going to get off, is just you guys got to shop at the right places. Right? If you want to get the best deal, you want to get the best bang for your buck, if you want to go to college in, at a discount, right? if you don't want to pay full price, you need, to stop sh- you need to start shopping at the right schools. You need to start marketing yourself to coaches at the right level that coincides with your academic standing, your test-taking standing, and most importantly, your athletic standings. Hope this helps.